So after the Majora's Mask speedrun, we had the Legend of Zelda Swordless. Now I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking, Typer. You're like, Swordless, can you even do that? The answer The answer is no. You can't beat the game Swordless. Is that true? Yes, yes. What you, you, you could play all the way up to the last dungeon, but you had to kill Ganon with some kind of sword. So what the run entails is that you play all through the game using like the candle and stuff. Okay, and bombs, right? And bombs, yeah. And they revealed that one of the broken English hints about 10th enemy having a bomb was actually a clue into the way that the RNG works. Wow. Yeah. So the way it works is that if you kill nine enemies without getting hit, and then you kill the tenth one with a bomb, that enemy will always drop a bomb pickup, as is my understanding. So that's pretty kooky that this thing from 1978 was actually giving a hint into something that would come into play in 2015. That's the year it came out, huh? Right, yeah, as far as I know. Okay, so they start off this run. I watched the first part of it. Mm-hmm. Um, they named the file names Awada, Dragoon, and Lunk. And I, uh, you know, just like Planet Fitness bans Lunks, mm-hmm. I wish they banned Dragoons. Lunk is, I believe, at least the first place that I ever heard Link being called Lunk, famously, was with the freelance astronauts, and they play oh, oh, Majora's that's a, Mask. That's a thing? I didn't know that's a thing. I thought it was a Planet Fitness reference. Uh, maybe I don't know. There are a lot of <laughs> there are a lot of muscle heads there, so I would be careful trying to insult Planet Fitness. <laughs> I don't want to get pounded. No, they get they get banned. Like like making Crash Bandicoot references at SGDQ gets you banned. Making muscles at Planet Fitness gets you banned. Uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about, no, I mean you know. It, it's so easy to tear down Planet Fitness. I'm sorry. About that. <laughs> it's so hard to build up. So I was watching this run. I watched the first part, and I just said the smugness levels were through the roof on these guys. I did not get that impression. Actually, I like these guys a lot better than the the previous guy who spoke French without realizing it. They were explaining a lot. Uh, they were talking about how the game mechanics worked, and you know the stuff about the guy with the tenth enemy. And um, although although their run. It meets with tragedy. I, I I still think it was a pretty good one. Oops, there go my paper notes. <laughs> I had two uh-huh. sets of notes for this one. This is not paper. You'll have to take these notes. It's dangerous. I get it. I get the picture. Yeah, yeah. they made that joke. Uh, they pr- tried to pretend like they didn't know what a sword was. <laughs> and they never heard of it. <laughs> I'm going to cut to the chase here. I left five minutes in. I voted a smug out of five. Oh, my God. <laughs> you just... You are just a sourpuss. I was. I After the highs of Majora's Mask and the guy that accidentally talked in French, this just wasn't doing it for me. They had a cantaloupe on the couch. I didn't know what was going on. Uh, it's they didn't random. Know what the sword was. Cantaloupe is the new bacon. I think it was a speedrunner, actually, that was speedrunning Zelda and wasn't there. So they brought a cantaloupe, so the spirit of him was there. Oh, okay. That's nice. That's nice that they did yeah. that. He's, he's like one of those ghosts in the graveyard at Zelda. Since you only know video game things. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I was yeah, yeah, kind of humoring yeah. you before, but now I get it. Now you get it, exactly. Okay. So yeah, I went to bed. So you you stuck around and you enjoyed this, huh? Uh, I did enjoy the swordless run. So if you're a judge guy, <laughs> you'll enjoy this too. If you're a diaper guy, <laughs> do not watch this under any oh, circumstances. Yeah. Like Siskel and Ebert over here. Oh, yeah. So the next run that I reviewed was Earthbound. This is oh. a this is a childhood classic. Um, for you, for me, yes. This one I'm a little brr about because wow, as you, I'm, at, <laughs> what the, I'm brr. What does that mean? Uh, I'm like mm. is that a Goron noise. Are you a Goron? Is a Goron back there? No, he's not. But oh, there okay. there are uh, there. You know that we we're not fans of the task spot, right? And we'll get into why a little bit later, but. The the run of this consisted of this guy going through a sheet of paper and like executing button pushes, right? And I know, let me stop you before you even get started. Isn't that what all these jokers do? <laughs> that's, that's all I was about to say. 
<laughs> well, no. Like, that's not the... They, they have to have, like, backup strategies, and there's some amount of skill. I'm going to argue that what this guy is basically doing is what a TAS is, except he's able to do it because Earthbound's a really slow game. So what he what he was doing was he was manipulating the RNG to get, like, favorable ac actions from, like, enemies on the overworld and fighting in the, the game. So he was, he like he was making a sacrifice to the RNG gods. He was. He, he it was yeah, like, yeah. oh, I had to press B fifteen times here, and Gygus yeah. will miss. And then you know it happened, and you know it, that's cool, uh, kind of. But to, to your point raised during AGDQ, what what is speedrunning? I mean, th th w there's there's no human element here, really. It's just like, oh, can I follow the spreadsheet exactly as it says that I should do it? I don't know. You're competing against yourself. I get that. But what are you really doing? You're just memorizing a dance routine sometimes, it feels like. Mm -hmm. And this seems like a scenario where that certainly is the case. Uh, and maybe that's what Trihex meant when he meant more expressive of a run. Maybe more improvisation is allowed. Maybe. And it just seemed like there was no room for any in Earthbound. That sounds... Uh, how long was it? Uh, the estimate was 155 and he messed up something for Gygus and I quit watching after that, but I guess he got it the next time that he did Gygus, but I think he was below his estimate. So well, kudos for that, I guess, but I don't know. It, it weighed heavy on my soul about what it meant to be a runner or a earner. You felt like you were driven into a a speed running existential crisis kind right. of deal. Right. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know what it meant anymore. You lost it at this point. This is this is when it would have been great great for you to see Majora's Mask guy. So maybe they should have shuffled the order a little bit. <laughs> Cuz I was at that point and then the Majora's Mask guy came and I didn't know if he was going to speak French or English and I like got it. I'm like, "Oh, this is what life is about." <laughs> this like is like having a fine wine on the balcony, you know what I mean? This is a rough day. <laughs> it is a rough day for me. <laughs> It was a tough day. It was a tough, tough day. It was a Wednesday night, right? So again, it seems like we're at our lowest once again. And then one man made his triumphant reemergence onto the scene. It was Big John. It was, it was Big, Big John. John. The next, it the was... next thing that we did is Big John. Oh my oh, god, the hero of AGDQ. He's like an angel, an angel with gigantic trapezius muscles. Oh, huge. Huge traps. And I didn't think he was going to make it, honestly. No, no. I heard no. some rumors. I he, heard some nasty rumors. Here's a tweet. On the, I put it on the uh, stream here. He says, I'm done with surgery and feels like I've been gutted of my insides. Doctor said to stay home to recover, so I'm going to SGDQ. It's my man. <laughs> He's my it's man. All, I love him. Gamer. Gamer. Oops. <laughs> Oh, you can get so fired up. I was about so excited. I slammed my knee on the yeah. desk. Yeah, you threw your box of egg rolls all over the room. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I was nervous with Big John starting. I'm like, I hope we don't have a situation of a, a sophomore slump here, right? Because we voted him last time. The, the best newcomer. Oh, he, he ran away with all the positive awards. Right, last us. time. And, and he came back in, and he made all my fears... Uh, he made me learn that all my fears were nothing to worry about because that man has unending charisma. No doubt about it. He, he, I, I just can't, I can't, I, I can't it's, even, it, it, you hear that I, mean? I, but I really yeah. can't. Yeah, you, you can't even articulate it. I, I kind of, I couldn't either. I knew I couldn't. And I was, I was just kind of writing down quotes that he's had. He, one time he died, he said, is that a death? Oh, well. He didn't. Get, he didn't launch into his Crash Bandicoot bit. <laughs> nope. The coolest customer, as always, Big John. Yeah. To your point, I noted here. He said, "Don't be scared. It's just a game." He's right. Oh, that was. Good. Yeah, I wrote that one too. And then he, he, uh, you know, he said that he wants to give. He plays as Luigi because he said it's time to give the other brother some love. Mm -hmm. Mario gets enough shine. And I agree. I didn't like Mario Sunshine either. <laughs> well, okay. Careful, you're gonna get tarred and feathered by the chat. <laughs> But uh, Trihex was on the couch. Um, the guy on the couch from last year, from AGDQ, he wasn't there for some reason. No, I was I, a little sad about that. I was I was pretty shocked. Like, it's really disrespectful to the audience to to just, like, make somebody who's been a beloved part of a commentary team just disappear without any adequate explanation. 
I, I'm really disappointed might... that they would do that to their audience. I, like, I hope there's not trouble behind the scenes. That's what I was a little worried about. Right. Um, I'm still worried about, to be honest. I, you know, I'm worried that there's there's an issue about money or a girl or something. I don't know. You know, but Trihex did little, a good job. He did. He did. Uh, Trihex. I like the way he looked on the couch. I don't know if it's is it in your screenshot. He kind of looks like his arms. You know, you see his arms across the back of the couch. Mm-hmm. Kind of. He looks like he has like a, a cape open, <laughs> and uh, other people sitting on the couch are like his his, his vampire children. Yes, yeah, his sires uh, they call them. <laughs> his sires. Yeah, yeah. His tri sires. His sci- sire hexes. Yeah, yeah. That's it. So. And then there's two guys flanking the sides of the couch. Mm-hmm. I asked, are, are those Big John's bodyguards? <laughs> yeah, it was good. That was a good observation. Like that I, guy needs it, but you know, he's a celeb. The dude's a celeb. I just assume he's just walking. They got a clear room for him to walk under the elevator at uh, SGDQ. <laughs> Do a Marin joke. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's doing a Marin joke. Yeah, no, no, so. <laughs> They're, they're racing the elevator at SGDQ. I, I, I had a that? note here that I like that the girl on the couch was asking Big John gameplay focused questions. It was a good foil for the tech aspects of the run. So it, it, I, I, I gave this five stars. It was excellent as always. It, it's uh, I gave this 4.5 out of five stars. I think there's always room for improvement. I think it hurt a little bit not having guy on the couch. Oh, no, no. Oh, mm, now I was I was fearful of this. So I wanted to bring this up. Like, I'm trying to I'm trying to evaluate Big John. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm getting choked up. <laughs> He's just because this <laughs> run was okay. so good. It's okay. He's so passionate. So passionate. <laughs> I'm trying to evaluate Big John with the same set of standards. I'm evaluating all the other guys, right? So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna penalize Big John for not having the guy on the couch. Did I think that the guy on the couch added a better element at AGDQ? Yes. But at the same time, Big John just oozes charisma and he just it had everything I wanted. It was a skilled runner playing the game. And, you know, he, he was very he was very good at his game. And he was entertaining. And the, the, the couch, you know, got off their their arses for mm-hmm. our English tas- mm-hmm. tasters out there. And they were they were helping him out. I, 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 I can't hold it against him for not having this guy because I don't know the I don't know the facts. I wasn't uh, to your point. You're you're right, but it's it, to your point. It's not uh, it's not necessarily that the guy on the couch wasn't there. Mm-hmm. It's just there could have been a better couch. The house, the couch was good. Mm. The couch was good, but like imagine if it was the two quiet guys from the Majora's Mask run. I give it a five <laughs> out of five. You just you and I just have to agree to disagree on this one. Like the couch is only exciting when somebody's like falling asleep on it, <laughs> or like somebody's act- asking crazy questions. Or somebody's doing jumping jacks. Oh man, it's you know the couch is the couch is there to be a train wreck. I don't like when it's like really good. Hmm. Interesting. I like when the the runner is like oozing charisma and the couch is is like you're you're rolling your eyes a lot at what they're doing. And it just it was too solid of a couch, and uh, it was good. The run was so good. He he. Oh. Every time he made it to a Bowser room, I was at the edge of my seat. I don't think he died to Bowser a single time. Or a Koopa, whatever you call him, in Lost Levels. I'd, I'd have a sigh of relief when he got past. And, and then he, he ends the run by teasing his next appearance at AGDQ. He starts, like, politicking for NES Golf. I, I, there needs to be something to be said that he ran this game at AGDQ. And I was kind of like, oh, is he, is he running this again? Is this guy a one-trick pony? But he he made it enjoyable, so I I think I think it's time that he he tried running Mario Golf or whatever it was. I couldn't NES see Golf. what he was doing, okay. which is also a game Caleb plays. So I think there's a super card potential there. <laughs> they, Just throwing it off. <laughs> they got to start booking these feuds a little bit more intelligently to yeah, get the yeah. views. So I agree. Give with me that. six months in advance. Let me know what you know. Build a what's program. Gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. Build it up. Build up the build up the runners, build up the personalities, the villains. You, you got to take a little bit more. You got to put a little more more pomp and circumstance in the whole thing. I agree. They they've done a better job with it this year. I will yeah, say that much. They're, yeah, getting they're, there. they're getting there. They're heading in the right direction. Exactly. So I was done after that. I'm like, you know what? I'm going out on a high note. I'm turning off Big John here. I'm, I'm 
going back to what I do. All right. So then I stay. Well, I the next day I watched the video on demand for Pokemon Blue. This this is one where they they captured all 151 Pokemon. And let me stop you, Cipher, for you. Like, how the heck did they do that? Well, as you can see by the screenshot on the stream, they they exploited the glitches because certain Pokemon are certainly impossible to get single player without doing a glitch. Well. Yeah, without doing a glitch. Yeah, uh, for right. example, like just the starters, man. I mean, just the <laughs> starters. You can't even get those guys. Listen to yourself go. I like Pokemon to... back in the day, so it's a little bit of a nostalgia trip. Like a shameful secret for you. That's the thing. I, I, I couldn't even stand to watch Pokemon to even turn it on. And here you are going out of your way to watch the video on demand the next day. I was you're curious. A, I was curious. A, a true story. For, I'm going to give you a mute your mic so you don't talk over me here, Judge. Okay. I'm going to tell the folks a story. Go ahead. One time I went to Judge's house, right? And he had this this thing in the corner that he was hiding from me. I thought it was like his, his nudie magazine collection, right? Come to find out. He's like, that's, that's a DS. He says all quietly, it's a DS. I'm playing Pokemon, <laughs> the new Pokemon. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's shameful. Yeah. It's so shameful. I don't remember it, but it checks out. <laughs> that sounds like me. Why are you so shameful of loving Pokemon? Just, just embrace this, and uh, also realize that I don't want to talk about it ever again. <laughs> I don't want people to have one on me. You know, they, yeah. uh, they, they got like an an in on me. They're like. Ugh judge don't you go marry pikachu i'm like oh i don't even like him i like charmander so just stuff just it. so we know you know some people don't know if we're serious or not some give me your your team of five real fast uh people know you're a real poke head caesar is always there i liked <laughs> uh-huh. i liked alakazam in gen one just because psychics were overpowered uh i'll admit when i was a kid playing pokemon back in the day i kind of copied gary oak's team just because his team was like so supreme and I was trying. Uh, hey, are you snoring? No, oh, no, what? what? <laughs> oh, come on! You can't set me up like that. Oh, this is why I don't let people know because they give me the business. Oh man! All right, so Pokemon, what did you rate? <laughs> uh, it kind of got old after like th- mm-hmm. the crux of it is that this dude just could like manipulate memory at will, and it was pretty impressive. That he didn't even need a sheet of paper on like some people playing Earthbound, but. He, he was basically just throwing master balls at every Pokemon that he could, like, kind of arbitrarily pull up at will. So, like, I turned it off about midway through. But, you know, you can check it out if you're curious, if you like Pokemon. It gives a judge stamp of approval on that one. Mm. Maybe if you got nothing else to do. If yeah. you don't know what, like, a podcast is. Or, like, the movies. Or TV shows. Right. Yeah. Why not? Or books. Yeah. If you have no other media to cons- to consume, why not check it out? Yeah, yeah. So that, that that ended the night for you, right? Mm-hmm. Or or the morning you were watching it on demand. Yes, sir. And and you, the next thing you watch is, or we watch is Shadow of the Colossus. Uh sure. Um, hey, quiet yeah. it down in the chat. I don't. I I neither diaper or I are mods, so. We have no way of controlling you. <laughs> Whoa, are they talking about AIDS? I don't know. Yeah, keep it keep it quiet on the AIDS stuff. Yeah, please stop talking about AIDS and talk more about Crash Bandicoot. Thank you. Okay. All right, good. So, good. What were you saying? You handled it. Okay. Yeah, I know. So, I took care of the trolls. Take that, trolls. Good. You're the troll slayer. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm going to go Crash Bandicoot now. Okay. So this next one was Shadow of the Colossus. And... I basically wanted to watch this just so I could relay this experience of when Chris and I were in college, we, we of course, were buddies because we've been buddies for probably 30 years now. Yeah, 40, 30 years. It's been a while, but... Uh, we, we've evolved all three forms, like <laughs> Pokemon. Oh, look at them, this guy. They call you the Pokemon prof. <laughs> Pokemon hack. All right, so we were, we've were we been friends for a while, and in college, you were saying. Yeah, uh, so you were playing through Shadow of the Colossus, and you were having a dilly of a time with uh, the horse, whose name right. is Argo or Agro. I think it's Agro, yeah. It's uh, Seabiscuit, Seabiscuit, I believe. Okay. Well, this, this, this horse, American Pharaoh, was very difficult to control for you, and you were 
you were cursing all of the colossi. Yeah, I was like diarrhea dumping this horse. So right. <laughs> hope this horse dies of dysentery. And I all the the video game nerd things that were popular at the time. Right. And I was I was I was following along with the games thread about it, and I and I realized that at the end of the game, your horse falls off of a bridge, and people were posting up and down on the thread like, "Oh, it was so emotional when Argo fell off the bridge and stuff like that." And so right. I kept this to myself. I had it in my back pocket when you arrived at this part. And so the scene transpires where you're you're going across this rickety old bridge, and you cross the other side, and for some reason your horse is separated from you and then the horse falls down and it's very emotional and you reply with good <laughs> and I, I I laughed up a storm I didn't like the horse it was hard to control <laughs> so I was curious as to whether or not the mood had shifted on the horse uh-huh. in the gaming community at large and the answer is no <laughs> oh, they still got sad about it at SGDQ during the run. I didn't watch that part. Yep, yep. Because, frankly, I get PTSD just seeing the horse go up the side of the mountain and being hard to control. Oh, well, Blab is with you here. He says that he was glad when the horse died, too. <laughs> so, he's a man after your own heart. I, oh, I, All the people that supported the horse dying, I, I support you. I don't wish any harm on any horses. That's good. That's good. And ironically, you married an uh, equestrian. That's true. And I'd be sad if her horse died. That's good. I'm but glad that, you said that. That horse, <laughs> that horse from, if I saw that horse from Shadow Colossus in a dark alley, pff, oh. <laughs> you would just punch it right in the face. Oh, yeah, for sure. So uh, I, I barely watched this run. Uh, yeah, that, that was the only I, I really only wanted to tell that story about you playing oh, in college. Yeah, yeah. I didn't write anything. So we know nothing about the run, really. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And so, uh, so what's next? What, well, what, what, what happened next? Before the next one, uh, I saw a donation incentive at the bottom of the screen to choose Magus from Chrono Trigger's in-game name. Number two was Arby's. <laughs> and that's, I'm laughing now. <laughs> that's when I'm like, oh boy, I, I see what I need to see. And I gave a donation. They got you. They got me. I, I donated again this year. Even the last at AGDQ, they, they didn't even show my donation on the tracker. They did show my donation this time on the tracker, but I got unlucky and I had a grumpy Gus reading the donations for me. Oh, because like at one point the runner, I forget what the run was, was like, oh, I could read donations if you want. It was during Minecraft. And the guy's like, oh, you can read donations if you want. And the donators, just, the donation readers is silent. And I'm like, come <laughs> on, buddy. You gotta... What did your donations say? Uh, it, I said, Magus's name. I'm thinking Arby's. <laughs> And I said, shout outs to the tech team, because that's a very easy way to get your donation read. And I said, and also to my friend Anthony, who passed. And I thought that we we would get like a couple bonus points if we had a friend who, who <laughs> passed a, on. A, but A sob story, for lack of a better Right, term. yeah. But I think that they saw past it. They're probably fans, and they knew that Anthony wasn't really Yeah, gone. most people are. So, I, I, that must be it. You're right. They saw past it. They're like, ah, oh, that's that judge again. Well, maybe did Magnus get named Arby's? I don't remember. No, I don't think that he did because. Well, we'll get there. We'll yeah, get we'll there. get there. We'll get there. So, next for me, but in is the task bot, right? Yes, is that sir. What's next for task you as well? Bot. Okay. My my opening line here is: I've been waiting for this rotten bucket of bolts to rear his ugly face again after AGDQ. I said, my old friend has returned. I hope it doesn't work. <laughs> And then I said, I hope this robot plays the game where he's banned from SGDQ for suicide jokes <laughs> and being a juiced up horn dog like he was at AGDQ. All right. For those who forgot, the Tazbot rose to infamy after he momentarily, momentarily gained sentience and could not control his horny levels. So he tried to zoom in on his programmer's wife. It's true. The chat was controlling the task spot at AGDQ. Yeah, the programmer quickly shut him down before the stream got PG, but I still hate this robot. Oh, me too. Real horn dog. Yeah, I don't I don't care for this robot one bit. And I, I think that they were spooked by the latest Terminator film because it looks like they're back to using an emulator as opposed to letting the task bot interface with a console yeah, or Twitch yeah, chat. I was, hell, I was spooked by it too. Uh, the Terminator movie? Yeah, both. 
But yeah, so they were explaining save states in the emulator, they, right? They were explaining how tassing worked, and um, it was a little dry for my taste. So you just you advance frame by frame, and then when you get like an outcome you like, you save state it, and then you advance frame by frame, and like it was one of those things where I just kind of summarized it, and you get the picture, right? But it went on for about like five minutes longer than it had to. You know, peace and love, peace and love. Peace and love. Yeah. It's, and I said, at least I mean, at least they're explaining it this time because my one of my notes last time at AGDQ was I don't know, even know what this dang robot does. Like they didn't explain it at all. At least they made an attempt this year. Um, that being said, when he was explaining save states, I said, someone please save me from my boredom. So they they played uh, Rockman, right? They launch right into Rockman. They launch right into the Rockman, which the is Mega the Man. Spanish version of Mega Man. Yes, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Rockman in Spain. Um, and I said, so far, you know, they they picked a better game to do instead of that Mario Kart race at AGDQ. Uh, it, it was fine, right? Mm -hmm. It was it was you know it was glitched out. Um. Did you know that uh, you can get the complete probability list for Mega Man on their webpage? <laughs> because that's something I learned. He did say uh, that. And I also learned that the wily eyebrow flex is very hard to do, as the one guy on the couch said. I was confused by that. Uh, I said, I wonder if he practices at home in front of his mirror, because saying something like that uh, immediately implies that you have, and which is fine. We've all done silly things in front of the mirror, made faces and whatnot. You know. Every time I'm in front of a mirror, it's a silly mirror. So, so I got a movie idea during all this, right? Okay. I said it, it's it's like pixels, right? You know, the Adam Sandler vehicle. Yes. But with tassers instead of 80s arcade whiz kids. So in the Sandler movie, they have 80s arcade guys playing games to save the world. This would be the same, but with TAS robots. Yeah. Um, you told me this idea, and I said, that sounds like a good 16-hour movie. <laughs> exactly. They'll be in <laughs> advancing the movie frame by frame. <laughs> As opposed to other movies, which don't advance frame by frame. Exactly. So, so Mega Man happened, and uh, you know my eyes glazed over. Did you have anything to take from Mega Man? No, except at the end, Mega Man finished, and the one guy on the couch did the Wayne and Garth, we're not worthy thing. Like, oh, oh, did okay. he do it towards the task bot? Uh, he did it towards the camera slash TV, I think. So, uh, mm-hmm. It's yeah, that's fine. Can you zoom in on the task bot on your, uh, using your technology? Sure. You should do. That. I think he's the star here, so we need to put him at the forefront. Mm, okay. So uh, they moved on to Sonic Advance, right? Uh, this is as big as I can get. Oh wait, no, I could even even bigger. Wow, this is amazing. Okay. Hey, there he is, right Beautiful. in the center. Beautiful. Okay, good. I hate that guy. I hate him so much. So they move on to Sonic Advance. Mm -hmm. And I, I I'm going like, to find a blue dot on the internet and put it, <laughs> put it over his face. They have two cameras, right? Because Sonic disappears and they have a one camera hacking it so you can see Sonic. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I like that part of it. I because, did too. Because a lot of those Sonic runs are just like waiting for the screen to catch up. So that, that was nice. Um, my only note is I'm tired of people pooping on Tails. Uh, it's so easy to hate on Tails, isn't it? Stop it. You know, stop it. It's what I say to them. Their Tails like falls and they're like, oh, sorry, Tails. And everyone laughs. Everyone laughs. <laughs> I don't approve. I vote. Suicide is never funny unless it's Crash Bandicoot threatening it. <laughs> I think we should treat Tails with the same <laughs> respect that we treat other humans in this world. How's that? We should be respectful. Oh, okay. You know. If if Tails is in need, we should help him him out. Hmm. And, uh, there was nothing to take from Sonic, man. There, there, was <laughs> there was there was very little, and the next one was Ikaruga, which I took the opportunity to go grocery shopping. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I was really hungry. All right, let me say this. I liked Ikaruga a lot. You it's did. A game I played a lot. Did you know that about me? No. I played a lot of Ikaruga. I uh I know the ins and outs of that game a little bit. Now that's one of those like color based shooters where like you have to shoot black at the white dots or something like that, right? Yeah, it's that simple. I mean, there's nothing much to it. Okay. <laughs> it's like it, it's. I guess it was impressive. I don't know. My note was 20 minutes of a robot playing a shmup, <laughs> and I said they're they're showing these these they're videos, right? I mean, they're showing videos. Mm-hmm. 
and it was boring. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. And they're they're showing these videos like it's like like some type of task film festival. I felt like is like can <laughs> yeah, like exactly. Like here's our somebody does their submission for the Ikaruga video and they show it off and everyone claps. And I guess I just don't get high art, Judge. <laughs> well, you're not a highbrow gamer like me. No, no, not at all. That's why I like the Majora's Mask guy talking about zooming in on butts and stuff. <laughs> you're a simple I, man. I'm a simple man. <laughs> like that song. They show Mega Man again and they make it go straight to the credits and the audience erupts. And they then announce... They like to see their childhood games uh, put over their knee and spanked. As oh, yeah. Said. And they did that for sure to the Rock Man. Mm -hmm. And then they announced a task competition. Everybody had four hours to complete a speed task challenge of a game. Yes, sir. Um, so then they revealed that uh, this week on Chopped Task Bot Edition, <laughs> the, the games would be Shrimp, White Chocolate, Chives, and Streamers. Huh. Huh, that's an odd combination. Yeah, they actually just said streamers. That was a goof I made uh, because it reminded me of Chopped. And I thought it was a good concept. One out of five to the task spot. I gave it two stars. Yeah, it's, I mean, I would have preferred if the task spot read Goodnight Moon to me. <laughs> the Microsoft <laughs> Sam voice. Yeah, yeah. And then I could fall asleep. Before we, before we depart, they, they mentioned how Tassers faced animosity early on because... A few years ago, some guy released a task of Mario 3 and did it annotate it as a task. Um, I remember showing this video to you, Chris. Yeah, I, and, I remember it. And I advertised it as some guy in Japan who's very good at Mario. So even I was fooled. Yeah, you, they, they fooled the old judge. Who, you know, it's hard to get one past you. Man, it's, I'm, I'm, I spot the pixels, but I'm like, this checks out. This guy probably is just really good at Mario. You're a game freak, much like your company that makes your favorite game. Mm-hmm. It's they faced animosity. <laughs> like they've That's had to overcome. I think he said that verbatim. It's like animosity. <laughs> like they marched strong. <laughs> it's terrible. Like what are the tests? I don't know. I guess I don't understand the community. That's my problem. You know. <sighs> All right. So the last run that we reviewed was Chrono Trigger, and both of us. Turned off the game at this same point. <laughs> Correct. Now I had I had watched this on the video on demand this morning. Mm -hmm. I watched this live. I knew when Judge turned it off because he told me. Yep. And I turned it off at the same point. And he wants to know. Judge is at the edge of his seat. If I turn it off because he told me he turned it off then, or because I was disgusted by the same thing. But before we do that. They start the run and they name the three. They 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 sell us. They tell us that their final team is going to be named Hail Demon Choco. Yes, I wrote what a goof. <laughs> kind words, kind kind words. And then he makes a joke about Chrono's mom making a donation when she okay. gives you money to go to the fair. Which um which I wrote. I'm not sure if I like this joke or hate it. I I've lost my marbles at this point. During the run, uh, some guy donated a thousand dollars, lamenting how dumb of a name Arby's is, which is one of the <laughs> options for the characters. And I said, this, "These are not my people. These are not my people." This, they they hit they hit a million dollars for the record, which you know, good 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 for them. I think this is the first time SGDQ has ever passed a million dollars, and that's good. It just it went the 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 audience went nuts. There was like a twelve thousand dollar donation with an anonymous guy who didn't do anything and he was just sniping like the names of chrono trigger characters yeah he he, he gave a donation for magnus to be named whoopee yeah like and i okay, was mad everyone i was mad that's a lot of money <laughs> he didn't donate it towards arby's yeah i come on man just do arby's i'm because thinking he was trying, i knew what he was doing he's trying to raise the stakes of everybody else you know donating because he, he he voted for the bad category i i assume that he's like some guy who he does his own stream, right? And he like solicited donations. You know, he's like, "Yo, I'm gonna show these guys. I'm gonna have my memes be the supreme memes." I, it was a meme battle to me. Oh, like like wow! I didn't think of it like that. It was like an arms race, like a meme, for a good cause, like a meme Donkey Kong race with uh, really interesting tire rolling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly like that. It's exactly like that. 
So uh, he says at one point, the runner, I find it amusing that Luca is being called amazing and manipulating time gates and all whatnot while being called a demon. Heh. <laughs> and I Indeed. said, you know, some people just have different senses of humor than me. That's, that's you know, that's what it is. That's what makes this world a great place. Yeah, that's what makes the world go around. Exactly. All right, so... Eventually, it emerges that the meme the donations are trying to force upon the audience is Hail G, excuse me, Hail Demon Chocobo. So the runner's husband explains the meme. In approximately 60,000 more words than what I'm about to describe here, he says that his wife, the runner, edited a sprite of a Chocobo and it looked demonic. She posted it on a forum and it's a meme. Yeah, they sold it. They auctioned it off. I, I had to turn it off. You turned it off there. I, I turned so it off there. I, I wrote regarding this story. I said they they explain it like one of those stories where your friend tells you that kind of stinks and usually ends with you had to be there, right? <laughs> so which <it's>, whatever. <laughs> so so what was it for you? I'm I, this is burning inside of me like a hot summer night. So what? you were fed up and you just turned it off at mm-hmm. that point, right? You know what I did? I said. All right, judge is not requiring me to watch anymore. I'm turning <laughs> oh, this come off. On. I was done on Wednesday, my man. <laughs> I can't believe this. I we tried. I was we tried. Done. <laughs> I tried to tried to make this easier on you. Like I'm some kind no. of slave driver, and I've seen the text that you've sent to your wife that you've accidentally sent to me about how I'm such a slave driver. Right. This is this is one of those scenarios. I was done, my man. Your you wife know. probably hates me because I always come over and we watch twitch channels and things Uh, like that's fun that's fun because we're watching garbage this is right in the sweet spot where it's you know it's like a little too good (laughs) i don't i don't blame your wife for hating me i don't either so that's the i didn't even rate chrono trigger did you rate chrono trigger minus five stars (laughs) for the 22 minutes i had to endure all right, so with that, that was AGDQ. That was oh, yeah, SGDQ. Yeah! Hey, we did yeah, it. Yeah. We, did we did it. Oh, man, I hate myself. <laughs> wow. All right, so. There's a little Crash Bandicoot humor for you there. I didn't really. I don't really. You should love yourself. So. Let's, let's, let's move on to, do you want to do awards? Or do you want to do uh, suggestions? Huh. It's up to you. Um, well, I have my awards I'm, right here. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go with awards. All right. I'll do one. Then you do one. Okay. We'll do it. All right. So mine was best name, Pikachu Naruto dude. I did not have a best name, but I had one for best pre-show. And I said guy in the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> that was the stream I watched before SGQ started. <laughs> Oh, good, good. Yeah, yeah. All right, now this one I had meme that has lost the most stock, and I said it was Frank or Z until the last day, and then it became Hail Demon Chocobo. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. I had a best donation shout out. Okay, Grandma for buying the fabled N sixty four and giving everybody into gaming. That's a powerful candidate. So I oh, can't yeah. disagree with that. Uh my Big John award went to Big John. My my uh, best speedrunning robot award mm-hmm. uh, that went to those wild guys playing Tetris, not the task bot. Oh, good, good. They were uh, precise, like a well-oiled machine. Right, exactly. All right, and this is my final award, and it was best cheese. Smoked Gouda, runner-up, cheese 05. <laughs> I also had best cheese, and I just wrote smoked Gouda. Oh, wow. I didn't, I didn't give a runner up. So you, you don't think cheese 05 was uh No, I, no, I didn't think up. of it. Okay. No, if I was uh, my least favorite cheese, maybe it would have been in the, the discussion. Um, I have one more here, or I have two more. Okay, go ahead. Most cultured runner. Mm-hmm. Smoked Gouda. No, 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 no. The most cultured runner was Fozzy. For him sometimes speaking in French without realizing. I do not agree with this, but this is your choice. Yeah, and uh, finally, I had the best in show, which of course goes to Big John. Of course, of course. That's that's what the Big John Award is. is yeah, I think I'm show. with you. you. Just might as well call it the Big John Award. Sure. 
I I hope there does not come a day where Big John does not win the Big John Award just for simply being Big John. But it would be great if we could get the Big John Award to somebody else just so that we, we kind of get more of this at these events, you know? RGN, God forbid. Yes, RGN, God forbid. Um, As far as suggestions go... Um, I have, we touched on this earlier, but I had a red carpet event where someone asked the runner who they're wearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like, what are they? Yeah. And they can say like, I'm wearing a bacon shirt. (laughs) This is a Captain America shirt from Target. Yeah, that's good. (laughs) I think I stole that joke. Oh, oops. It wouldn't be the first time. Nope. Yeah, yeah. This is a meme shirt. I got it off of Think Geek. Ah, okay. There you go. That's good. So you get, uh... I also had the Oscar style red carpet. Okay. Um, I had one suggestion. This is this is gonna sound a little mean, but you know, <laughs> I'm sure I've burned a lot of bridges. All right. Uh, the video game music <laughs> they played in yeah. between runs, uh, slash during the setup. Mm-hmm. It, it's appropriate. I get it. It's a video game event. Play video game music. Would it kill you to have a Prince song? Would it, would it is, kill you to? Prince is notorious for uh, getting his stuff off of YouTube and things like that. So. It's odd that you picked Prince because I just know that certain thing about him is you know I me. I picked him because he's the best. I like I like to rip off uh, pop songs because my taste in music is that of a grandparent. But Prince is one of the ones that he has a lot of good songs, but he is apparently like super visual about that sort of thing. Oh, okay. so that's yeah, why you've never heard regardless. that. Michael Jackson, whatever it be, mm-hmm. a Prince remix mixed with Mario, a chip tune Prince. Yeah, chip tune Prince. Just would it kill you? Hmm. Would it kill you to realize there's things outside the video games? Yeah, yeah. Ex- expand the horizon a little bit. I agree with that. But have an organ player, like a baseball or hockey game. Oh, that'd be good. You know, just, I think I might have suggested that last time. I think Again. that some of these may be rehashes, but until they start doing them, we're going to keep suggesting them. But. Yeah, this is our platform. Mm-hmm. Our so, 2D platform. It's indie platform uh yeah. my next idea was a correspondence dinner with the press where the media gets a chance to see the more good hu- humored nature and self facing side of speedrunners what do you think of that idea i think it's good but you got to pick the right speedrunner mm-hmm. um you got to be careful when you throw a uh someone who walks the edge like game pro 11 out there it definitely would require a little bit of a PR team, but I was kind of hoping it could get people to come out of their shell a little bit because for for whatever reason, a lot of these runners who broadcast on Twitch, it seems like they kind of clam up in front of a live audience. And I understand why, because it's different yeah. being in front of people than just like a computer screen. But oh, you yeah. know, maybe it would help out. Maybe it would help out. I think it would help out for sure, yeah. Um, I, I said, I touched on this earlier, more villains, definitely more villains. Uh, bring back Crash Bandicoot guy, Game Pro 11. You know, hype up a race between him, between him and Caleb and Trihex in some neutral ground. I think that would be good. I think that would build up the storyline. My next suggestion was some insight into what the free breakfast is like. I guess they're getting free breakfasts at these things, and I'm curious. Oh, is, uh, is there like eggs? a continental breakfast? Yeah, 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 continental, yeah. So I'm I'm curious about that. I don't know if you are. Just like some. Yeah, behind. I am too. I, I want more behind the scenes stuff. Like every once in a while, they'd be like, "Oh, you know, uh, they're 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 speed running the elevators here. They're seeing how fast people can get up. I need to see this stuff. I saw a video mm-hmm. of Caleb and Trihex arm wrestling. That's where the real story was. You know, stuff like that. I want to see more behind the scenes stuff. The the that was that was my wrestling. That was my next thing. Was to your point behind the scenes segments showing the training regimens. Yeah, you know maybe to build up the rivalries a little more before races. Like you could show like the guy, like you know it's the extreme. It's like this guy's been practicing this and he got this record and he lost it from this. Kind of like the King of Kong. You know Steve Weeby versus uh, Bill Pullman. <laughs> Right. <laughs> yeah, Bill Pullman. That was his name. Uh, I know it's Bill USA, Paxton. Bill Pullman. Yeah, Bill. It, you mix them. It's easy to mix them up. Yeah. So I agree. Like I said, like kind of like a tail of a tape. Can I get to know the runner? Kind of like American Idol when they show beforehand. Yeah. Like, this is the person's story. Like those ESPN yeah. what three sixties or whatever they're called. Uh, that or the thirty for thirty. 
mm-hmm. uh, something documentary esque. You know, explaining his hometown, how his hometown's all before behind him here for uh, doing his forty minute run of uh, Echo the Dolphin. Right, right, yeah. You know, and he's gonna bring this victory home for his you know farm town, mm-hmm. any town. Yeah, um, yeah. I had uh, ban impressions and voices. Every impression done results in a twenty dollar donation fine of the runner, which goes to runner's choice. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. Impose a little bit of a penalty for these things. Yeah, kind of like, like a penalty box, which I think we suggested last time. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. Was, I, I thought I expanded on it a little more. I'm like, well, make them donate. You know, it goes towards a good cause. No, that's good. That's a that's a smarter idea. I like it better than the penalty box. Right. I mean, I like the penalty box better because you know me, but I'm a um, puckhead. Yeah. My final suggestion was just simply the word skits. <laughs> I think there should be skits. <laughs> like what kind of skits? Oh, well, you know, like I was debating between like, should it be video game related or is that too much? I'm like, nah, maybe it's too much. Maybe we need like kind of like a way to depart, like maybe a little bit of improv, you know, like uh, like Mad TV. Yeah, something like Mad TV, like I'm kind of getting away from improv when I say skits, so I guess I shouldn't say improv. But, but like, you know, get like a little bit of dialogue. Like, they could they they could act out like, oh, when when Gary Oak <laughs> stops Ash, I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted with myself. But then Gary Oak goes to Ash, and then you know, it could be like try Hex and Caleb, and then we're like, oh man, these are two fish out of water. Maybe they hook them up with them uh, Mega Sixty Four boys. <laughs> Did you do a spit take? No. <laughs> all right, yeah. All right, this, was a, this was supposed to be a spitless run. It's all over the microphone. It's basically a let's play now. Uh, My it, last suggestion. Yes. Less donations. Again, a little mean. I'm sorry. I believe AGDQ would be 70%. Donations read would be 70% better if there was no donations being read. I just don't. I don't like the reading. I I feel like you know these people. Uh, trying oh wait, to wait, what? I, I was looking at the chat. Are you saying that you can't get the donations read? You don't want them? No, not like. Yeah, I don't want them read. I want people to donate. I just don't want them read out loud. That's that's going to be a non-go or a no-go. <laughs> as it's more commonly said. <laughs> We're going to have to say no. Th- there's 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 no way because. I, they've kind of dialed it back since I don't, if you remember like AGDQ in the past, it's just like a nonstop stream of just like God awful, like make, make the, make everybody in the audience high five and then make the two guys in the front kiss. And then, you know, everybody needs to say hype and things like that. Oh, it's, yeah. It was just like, Oh my God, this I needs forgot to, about all that. this needs to be like dialed back. And it was like people who donated like $2 and they had like a freaking war and peace level donation about you know what the weather's like outside and things like that so to to your point they are kind of moving in that direction but i don't know if they'll yeah, ever, they are, like, you're right it, they won't ever get away from reading donations because that is that's a motivator i mean it was a motivator for me when i pitched in my money to get arby's as the name for mangus i was hoping they'd read <laughs> they, it but they of course you. they didn't they got you yeah they did oh man so that's it that's my suggestions that concludes our SGDQ roundup. So, man, diaper. Do you have any parting thoughts you'd like to you'd like to live with us or leave with us? Excuse me. Uh, you know, I'll say this. Uh, SGDQ mm-hmm. is uh, a lot of things to a lot of people. Right. Right. You know, they got stuff for the indie gamers. Right. They got stuff for the retro gamers. Uh, they got stuff for Pokemon fans, which. <laughs> And then, uh, okay, lay off, call off your mighty Yenas. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, uh, they got the task spot for the eggheads. They got all kinds of things. Mm-hmm. I still don't see anything out there really for the common man. You know what I mean? Right. Old, old, uh, diaper six pack here is turning it on. Turn on SGQ. What has he got to be excited about? I just I think they got to get more to get the common interested. Bejeweled runs, uh, Madden, uh, Call of Duty multiplayer, Dota, League of Legends. They don't pre- represent everybody. 
You are making so many enemies right now. These people are getting their pitchforks. He's like, this guy's uh, no, a wait, Halo wait, freak, a Halo this head. Is what, uh, we need to have empathy for everybody, right? We need to support everybody in every walk of life. This world is a beautiful place full of uh, everyone's beautiful senses of humor. Everyone's a beautiful snowflake. I agree. And and I just feel like those that group isn't represented, and specifically a little selfishly on my part, I'll admit, we're not represented, Judge. No, we're not. But you and I are fringe edge cases. Yeah, it's just I'd like to see more joke runs. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> we're jokesters. It, it may not be a bad idea to start expanding the horizon to include uh, games like Halo and things of that nature, because those reach reach a wider wider audience and. I don't know how long AGDQ can keep growing, just servicing these core, these core guys who don't mind donating yeah. a lot to get the animals killed or saved. Pretty soon, they want to start hitting those huge numbers, you know, 2 million, 3 million. Mm -hmm. they, they might have to kind of go down the road more traveled, perhaps. Yeah. yeah, you see a market deficiency like I do. Yeah, yeah. That's you a good point. Exploit it. But, you know, that's it. That being said, I uh, it's always a gauntlet every year. I don't to the person that watches this all the way through for fun. You are a crazy man. Yep. And that's you, Judge, right? Yep. All right. So I, I think we're going to call it an SGDQ. Shout outs to my friend Diaper Chris for joining me once again. Uh, shout outs to the, the people at home. Shout outs to the people who donated. And I'm going to remind you that the best part of watching SGDQ is watching it with a friend. Thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs>